class. Welcome back to our math lessons. Can you guess what we're going to be talking about today? We're going to be talking about seasons. Today, our learning goal is to identify the season of autumn or fall. Hmm, I have some autumn things here with me. Can you see some things that might help you identify the season of autumn? How about this giant pumpkin that I'm holding? It's so heavy. And look behind me. What do you see? Beautiful leaves changing color. And soon they will fall to the ground. I think that's why we sometimes call autumn fall. I have a song to help us remember the names of the four seasons. Would you sing it with me? I'm going to sing it first to teach it to you, and then I would like for you to sing along. Winter, spring, summer, and fall, these are our seasons four in all. I bet that you recognized that tune. Let's try singing it together. Winter, spring, summer, and fall, they are our seasons four in all. Well, right now, we are in the season of autumn or fall. Where I live, autumn begins in September. This year, it started on September 22nd. Sometimes it starts on September 23rd or even other days in September. But that doesn't happen very often. The season of autumn lasts for three months. All of the seasons last for about three months. We have three months of autumn, three of winter, three of summer, and three of spring. Would you sing that song with me again so that we can remember all of our seasons? Winter, spring, summer, and fall, they are our seasons for in all. Well done. There are many different ways to identify the season of fall because the world around us changes during the seasons. The animals do different things in different seasons. The plants do different things in different seasons. We do different things in different seasons. And so does the weather. Hmm. We looked at pumpkins and we looked at the leaves behind us. But I want to look at a way that plants change with the seasons. In the summer, a lot of our flowers have lots of fun colors. And this flower is called goldenrod. And in the summer, it's often very yellow. And in the fall, oh, it changes. The flowers turn to seed and it's getting ready to go to sleep for the winter and wake up and have new plants in the spring. But now during the autumn, it just has fluffy seeds that can be blown in the autumn wind so that they can grow again next year. I would love for you today to look around and find some things that would identify the season of autumn. Maybe it is apples ripe on a tree. Or maybe it is your garden filled with many, many things to harvest. Maybe you'll be watching the animals. Are there geese flying south for the winter? Hmm. Have the animals around you changed what they look like? Have their fur coats gotten heavier and thicker? Maybe even that's happened to your dog or your cat. What is the weather like where you are? Has it changed? In the summer, I get to wear short sleeve shirt and I have to wear a big hat. But in the fall, I dress differently. How are you different in the autumn or fall? I am going to give you an assignment. Are you ready for it? 
I would like for you to choose a season tree. What is a season tree? A season tree is a tree that you are going to watch through all of the seasons. I would like for you to pick a season tree and draw a picture of it and write about it. Draw how it looks right now in the autumn and then we'll do it again in winter and in spring and in the summer. I want to show you my season tree. I picked it because I do something very special with it in the spring. Hmm. I have chosen a tree to observe and I chose this tree because I like doing something special with it in the spring. In the spring, I tap this tree and make maple syrup. So I want to watch it all year long. I want you to pick a tree that you can observe all year long. I'd like for you to draw a beautiful picture of that tree and write about it. And we are going to watch it all year and see how it changes. I would like for you to be thinking, drawing, and writing all about autumn. How do you change? How do the animals change around you? How do the plants and trees change around you? And how does the weather change around you in autumn? Before we go, I want to show you two things. One, what the top of my tree looks like. And number two, what my garden looks like in autumn. Class, this is my garden in the autumn. It's not as pretty as it is in the summer. I've already had to cut down all of my sunflowers and all of the plums have already been picked off of my tree. But there are still some fun surprises in my garden and I still get some tomatoes and peppers. Class, I hope that you enjoyed seeing my season tree and I hope that you get a chance to draw your season tree or even take a picture by your season tree. <gasps> I would love for you to have a picture by your season tree in all four seasons. Do you remember the names of the four seasons? Winter, spring, summer, and fall. These are our seasons for in all. Thank you for joining me as we learn to identify the season of autumn. I hope that you get outside today where you can look at the world around you and see how it's changing over the seasons. I hope that you had a great day learning about fall. Have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye.